Hi folks, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Great. Today, oh boy, I have something to show you. This. And my only regret is to not have done it sooner. True, uh, it's a fantastic upgrade. So this is a stock from Boyd's Gun Stocks. And this is the At One, At One model. And honestly, it makes me love my Tika even more. So I love my rifle, uh, you know, that Tika T3X Lite. Shoot straight, great rifle overall. But I loved it for its precision, for the smoothness of the, um, the, 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 the bolt. And not necessarily for the stock, you know, the stock I had was Whoop. The stock I had usually when you, it's a pretty functional, but you know, it doesn't have much feature in it, right? It's not adjustable, it's very, very basic, very simple. You have a little bit of grip there. And I was starting to look at the, the Boyd's gun stock and the At One, particularly for the, uh, the, the, the adjustable. Um, chick riser and length of pull in the back here and this is makes a heap of difference in how you know you actually uh, handle this rifle and you know once you have all this set together even sorry I know this is gonna make some people uncomfortable but I'm aiming lower than the camera I want you to look through the scope here even the the, the when you close your eyes and you, you put yourself comfortable and then you open your eyes, you are straight on, you know, you, you can really customize it to really, really, really be at one with your rifle. So full uh, disclosure here, Boys Gunstock sent me this uh, stock to, to try out and give you my, uh, my honest feedback on, on this stock. And you know, on this channel, I do not talk about things that I don't like, okay? I will not spend my time, your time, going through a review of things I do not like. So before going into a deep review, I wanna show you how easy and how quick I had this installed. So it was like 10 minutes earlier, this is what happened. A close look at this and it's actually, you know, really well made, you know, it's well finished inside. But there's a little but here. Um, one thing, when you know prior to your installation one thing you need to watch out for are if there is any big shafts of wood you know wood is a, it's a natural material it doesn't react always the same way so in the machining process it is very possible that you have some if i can show you here for example some loose pieces you know that might actually make the fit a little bit tighter than what it needs to be okay and me, what I'm doing here, or I have a little bit here, I don't know, the camera can pick it up. My suggestion, and this is my suggestion, I will just lightly sandpaper those edges and very, very rightly, just to remove those extra little wood shafts here. But don't overdo it. You know, if you're bringing a sandpaper to this, don't overdo it because you don't want to remove too much materials okay otherwise you'll have like a loose fit and things are not going to work out well so i'm gonna before dropping in the the, um, the receiver i'm going to clean up a little bit these uh this loose material you see this yeah so I'll clean that and then we'll start the uh, installation process. Uh, you know what, actually let's do this in one shot. Uh, no cut, so you'll see exactly how this thing is easy. To remove your old stock, you have two screws. Uh, I've seen various model and they all have, you know, sometimes they have flat screwdriver, this one has an X and an L in. I don't know what's the deal here with Tika, but it doesn't seem to be consistent. And what I'll do is I'll need the, yeah, this one here works, this is T25. Oh no, wait, sorry. Yeah, this is T25 for the, the the hex here in front of the trigger guard 
and we will need is this one too big no this one is perfect and we'll want uh, number four here in the back so I'll take start removing the one in the back which is uh, if I believe the longer one this one is done then this one here in front of the trigger guard and this one is done so at this point you should be able to lift the stock out okay now that it is out of course you still need your trigger guard here so you remove it and this that's it you can store it somewhere you won't need it for a while the boat stocks is going to drop in like this you can put in the trigger guard actually you know what let me put this maybe it's better to actually sit the trigger guard first making sure it's well you know well in place now you can drop it and voila now i have the medium screw here in the front the longer one in the back i'm gonna torque in the one here and i want to torque the one in the back There you go, and that's it. It's done. That's you know what? You have what? Thirty seconds it took. You ready? And where's the magazine? Now you need to test the magazine. Is the magazine working? Yeah, coming in, coming out nicely. And let's test the bolt. And the bolt works, so I'll just show you here. Bolt in, safety works. Can it? Voila! Not more complicated than this. So overall, besides you know the the wood chaffing inside which uh, is expected uh, to some extent i find the fitting to be perfect you know i can i'll, I'll give you some more close-up uh, of this rifle in details but like it's it has a really really nice finish you know i really love the the the, the colors the wood all the pieces everything you know like you see the it's really well done, folks. It is it is really well done. Um, and, you know, length of pull, customized to my to my dimension, chick riser, wonderful. Oh uh, yeah, one thing here. Um, so I was looking for my swivel. I had, you know, I removed it previously, but basically you can, there you have two holes. You can put it on the left side or on the right side for your sling attachment. And it's a quick detach, so you can remove it very quickly. Very handy. The to adjust the stocks, you have two buttons here. So one is here, one is this, and they're very stiff. You know, you have to press really hard. So I know I should have done a little bit more PE in high school, but uh, I think it's actually a good thing that you know they're that stiff. Um, you don't want this to go off. You know, to, to you don't want any play in those in those buttons. So I, you know, I really like the fact that they're that rigid. Actually, uh, this is awesome. For about carrying, uh, you know, you have wood. <coughs> uh, uh, sorry, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm still a teenager, you know. Uh, so you have three material, right? You have metal, wood, and plastic, rubbery, uh, and the three 
product that I'm going to use to maintain this is uh, first it's some pledge for the wood part. I'll spray this on a cloth and wipe any wooden part. For everything rubber, I'll use the same thing that I use when I clean the um, the peak at my Jeep, and it's a uh, vinyl and rubber care. So that's the stuff, and this is you know it's going to hydrate the everything that is plastic and rubbery on the stock and the last part is the good old g96 just to wipe out the metal part and that should do the trick so it shouldn't be more complicated so i know yeah it's three different product for the same piece but hey you know what you have three different type of material in here so uh, they need their proper care as well I don't have much, I don't, actually I don't have anything negative to say about this, uh, this upgrade folks. Um, the only regret I have is I should have done it sooner, you know. It's, um, I love it, I like it a lot. So I'm confident that with these stocks on, especially with all the adjustment here necessary, you know, I'll be able to have a better, a quick acquisition on target. It's going to make, make my experience at the range also much more enjoyable, you know, no strain in the neck trying to find the, uh, the um, thing. Before that, I was using a rifle pouch on my Tika, and those things tend to move, you know, they're, they, they make noise also. And they were not, uh, not the greatest. So here in front, you have two swivel attachments, one for a bipod and one for uh, the sling. Uh, actually, I'm going to use both because I love to use a bipod on my t -car. So that's it. There you have it. That's my impression on the Boyd's gun stocks. The At One. Uh, great addition. Great upgrade on this rifle. Please have a look at their website. They have This is one model among many, many others. So uh, the website is actually pretty fun to... <laughs> To browse, they have a lot of models. You can change the colors. You can change like you know uh, various option engravings. This is really cool. And so to me, yes, it's a big, a big yes. You know, should have done that long time ago. And it's a fantastic, fantastic upgrade. Do you have one? Let me know what you think. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.